In this video, we're going to learn how to do a corrected WBC count because of an excess number of nucleated red blood cells present in our sample. There's two things to note uh, before we get going here. The first thing is that um, when, an, when a sample is run through a hematology analyzer, it counts nucleated cells, all nucleated cells, as white blood cells. And so if the sample um, has a whole bunch of uh, nucleated red blood cells present, those nucleated red blood cells are also being counted as white blood cells in that process. And so the number that we see here, circle at 23.9 uh, times 10 to the third per microliters, that uh, value is uh, could be a little bit skewed because of the presence of so many NRBCs or or possible NRBCs that are uh, present. Um, and so that that's something to note here. The other thing um, bec that uh, raises this to my attention is that when I look at the analyzer printout, um, this is called a scattergram here. And this is all based off of uh, size. So MC, uh, this is uh, femtoliters down here. Um, and what we see here is a big population of very small cells over here. And that typically is not uh, white blood cell counts. That's typically uh, nucleated red blood cells. And that's a lot. And as you know from a previous lecture, nucleated red blood cells are not a normal finding um, in, um, in an, a normal healthy individual. And so um, it's not a good thing to have a ton of NRBCs present. And so going back to here again, you know, this guy looks a little bit elevated. The white blood cell looks elevated. As far as uh, relative counts go, the percentage of uh, the diff goes, nothing too alarming here. I mean, the uh, neutrophil count is a little bit high. Um, and the relative count for uh, lymphocytes are, are high. Down here, um, relative count or the absolute count for neutrophil is a little bit elevated. And so is the monocyte, the absolute monocyte count. And we'll, you'll learn how to calculate absolute counts in another video. And when we look at the red blood cell values um, down here, um, this shows us a couple of uh, other things. So really low white count or red count. So patient is looking like they have low red counts. H&H uh, &H, uh, follows that as well. So it is definitely looking like my patient is anemic here. MCV quite high. So that could be a couple things. Um, maybe this is an incorrect value. Um, maybe the patient is trying to compensate for um, having uh, such a low H&H &H by uh, releasing a whole bunch of reticulocytes a little bit early. So we kind of want to watch for that. As far as um, iron deficiency goes, it doesn't look like the cells are empty. So not hypochromic, but definitely, um, so they're normal chromic here but they're large, so macrocytes are present. Um, when we look at that histogram of the red blood cell, the graph uh, based off of that, you know, this number, the average here is is uh, um, that average um, for that particular red blood cell count. The MCV was a 127.5, so pretty large on average. This band is pretty wide too couple of different peaks it looks like here so there could be some dimorphic cell populations present uh, meaning that possibly this patient had been recently transfused and some of these red cells that we're picking up are healthy cells like especially down here are healthy cells from the transfusion and over here are the patient's own cells left over or are somehow um, myelodysplastic at this point so we can see a little bit of that there too so what do we do with that white blood cell count when we have a whole bunch of red blood cell, uh, nuclear red cells? First, we do our diff and we do we count 100 white blood cells. And while we are counting those 100 white blood cells, we're also counting the NRBCs that we see as well. So that value is given here. So after the text did the uh, manual counts here, let me get this lined up. After the text did the manual counts here, um, this was a repeat, so they re must have repeated the white blood cell count, and they got 24. Um, MCV was about the same. Um, and then 
here is the nucleated red blood cell count. So 262 nucleated red blood cells. That's extremely elevated. Um, and then we would have to do a calculated um, um, white blood cell count based off of that number because a lot of those are being added into this value here. So I can do that on a sheet here. So I have a blank sheet of paper. So if my total white blood cell count from my analyzer was, uh, we'll say 24 uh, times 10 to the third per microliter. Um, let me make this a little bit smaller. There we go. So if, uh, my total white blood cell count was 24,000 and my total NRBCs, nucleated red blood cells that I counted while I was doing a 100 cell diff if that value equaled 262, um, what we want to do here is we want to find out what the percentage is of uh, the nucleated cells that are just the uh, white blood cells and multiply that by this number. So we get that by doing a little calculation. And that calculation says that we're going to take the total white blood cell count and we're going to multiply it by 100 white blood cells because that's how many we counted while we were doing a diff and that divided by 100 um, plus the number of nrbcs that we counted um, during the diff so it's 100 divided by 100 plus the nrbcs that we counted because this value right there um, that equals uh the total, <clears throat> oops, let me move this over. That number equals the total uh, of all nucleated cells. Okay, so the total of all nucleated cells there. So if we start plugging stuff into this equation, um, our total white blood cell count here was 24,000. So I'm going to take uh, 24 times 10 to the third. I'm going to leave that off for right now because it makes it a little bit easier. And then that is going to be uh, multiplied by 100 plus 100, or divided by, I'm sorry, divided by 100 plus uh, 262, which was how many NRBCs we had total. So that would end up, so that equals 24 times 100 divided by uh, 362. Oops. <laughs> I can't draw and talk at the same time. 362. Um, so 100 divided by 362 times 24 would equal the number of um, nucleated cells that are just the white blood cells. So if we do uh, that quick calculation, um, if we do that quick calculation here, I'd um, to pull up my calculator real quick because my phone is being used, obviously. So let me just find that quickly here. Um, calculator. Okay, so um, 100 divided by 362 is uh, 0.2762. So going back to here, so that would be 24 times um, 0.2762. And that value um, times 24 equals 